Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Fedora version 25 on Oracle VirtualBox. So let's get started. Hopefully you have already uh, installed Oracle VirtualBox on your uh, Windows operating system. I'm using Windows as my host but uh, I think on other operating systems also the procedures will be the same, right? So uh, just uh, go to VirtualBox website and uh, just download the executable file and uh, the installation is really easy. So I am not going to show you how to install VirtualBox. Just install VirtualBox and open VirtualBox for now. Okay. Now we are going to uh, download the Fedora ISO file. So just open your favorite browser and search for Fedora. And the first link which will appear here will be getfedora.org. So just uh, click on the link. And here on the Fedora website, you have three options, Fedora Workstation, Server and Atomic. We are interested in uh, Workstation. So just, uh, just click on this section, Workstation section. And here you will be able to see this kind of interface. And uh, here it says this is uh, the Linux workstation and you have been waiting for. So I will just uh, click this uh, download button which says download now. Now the little change the Fedora uh, website has done here is in uh, whenever you wanted to uh, you know download and install Fedora 24 version for example, the ISO file was available on here right in this uh, you know green download button for example but uh, recently uh, i think fedora has also the windows version of executable file which we don't want right so we want fedora iso file and this download button is not going to give you that and what you need to do is you need to download this iso file from here with say 64 bit uh, 3.1 GB live image, right? So click on this link, not on this. Okay, so just click uh, this link, which is going to download Fedora on your uh, Windows operating system, right? Which is the ISO file. You can see uh, Fedora Workstation Live uh, 64 bits 3.1 ISO. I have already downloaded it. It's a quite big file, so you need to wait for the download. So I have already downloaded this file on my uh, operating system and this is the ISO file which I'm going to use and now I'm ready to uh, you know create the virtual machine using this Fedora. So for that just open your uh, VirtualBox manager and here we are going to create a new virtual machine. You can see I have already have a uh, different kind of uh, operating system on uh, virtual box and now I want to install Fedora also. So just click this new button here and uh, once you click this button it's going to give you the new virtual machine interface kind of a thing and here create a, a virtual machine you need to give uh, the name Fedora and uh, virtual box is intelligent enough to recognize uh, that if you type name Fedora here, so just type Fedora and the type automatically will be selected here will be uh, Linux and it's going to automatically select the version Fedora 64 bit. If it doesn't appear automatically, you can just choose from here, right? So Fedora 60 bit, 4 bit and Linux and then click next. And this is the memory, minimum memory it requires, but we can uh, give a little bit more memory to it. For example, two uh, gigabyte of memory, for example, and click next. And here uh, it says uh, create a virtual hard drive now, which we want. So just leave it as default, which is the second option and just click create. Okay. This is going to give you this kind of interface just uh, leave the first option uh, uh, you know enabled which is vdi format and then click next and also here just leave the dynamically allocated uh, memory here and just click next and here you can provide the 
size uh, whatever you know size you want to give to your fedora fedora operating system it requires minimum uh, 8 gb but you can increase it to for example 20 gb or whatever you know memory you want to allocate hard disk you want to allocate right and then click create and this is going to create this virtual machine but still it's not ready to use because we haven't provided the path for your uh, you know iso file in this uh, virtual machine right so what you need to do next is just click fedora and select fedora from here and then click settings here or otherwise you can right click on fedora and click settings from here also both will uh, open the settings option for uh, the fedora virtual machine and here you can change uh, some of the settings related to fedora so what we want to do here is we want to go to systems and here you can see we have allocated 2 gb which is fine but if you want to uh, provide the more processor by default uh, uh, VirtualBox provide uh, one CPU uh, for your virtual machine, but you can increase it from here. For example, I want to use two or three or four processors, right? So for now, I want to use two, okay? And here, leave it as default. Next option is display. We don't want to change anything there. And the next option is uh, here, which says uh, storage, right? And in the storage, what we want to do is we want to uh, provide the location of our ISO file. So just select storage and go to controller, select empty, right? Select empty and on the right hand side, you will be able to see this kind of interface. Just select the CD uh, icon, which uh, is on the right hand side and then click choose virtual CD disk file. Okay, so just click here and then copy the location wherever you have uh, saved your ISO file, Fedora ISO file, and then, uh, you know, provide this location from here. And choose the ISO file which you have downloaded and click open. And this is going to provide the path for your ISO file, right? And here, one of the important option in general is you can see here, that if you want to uh, copy and paste uh, content from your, for example, Windows host machine to your Fedora machine, uh, go to general and go to advanced. And here you just need to enable bi-directional for shared clipboard and drag and drop bi-directional. So choose these two options, bi-directional and click OK. Now we are ready to start our installation for Fedora. So just select Fedora and click start and uh, this is going to start uh, the installation for the fedora for the first time first it's going to uh, you know uh, give you this kind of uh, screen you just need to uh, press enter here so just press uh, enter or just press enter key which is going to start your installation right so first of all the process has been started and now the fedora installation has been started right and what you can uh, do here is just click uh, on the user and now it's going to start the installation and now here you can uh, see uh, the welcome screen for the installation so click install hard drive this option and the next step is to choose uh, your language in which you want to install fedora so for example i want to install fedora in english so i will just scroll down and search for the english uh, version version which is this one and then i'm going to click continue and now uh, the in the next uh, option i need to choose uh, the keyboard settings time and date settings installation destination settings and network settings right so we will do it one by one first of all keyboard settings the English keyboard is okay for me, but for now I also want to include the German keyboard because I have the German uh, keyboard on my uh, laptop. So I'm going to just search for uh, German keyboard from here. Okay, so search for uh, the German keyboard. In my case, I'm going to choose German keyboard, but if you are, uh, you know, uh, okay with the English keyboard, it's okay, right? And then click done the next option is uh, date and time 
automatically my uh, location is showing here so I'm just going to click done here third option is system so just click on system and these settings are also okay so just click done once again and the fourth option is going to be the network option right so we will just give the network options from here also so just choose a network and a home name for now i don't want to change anything so i will just click done once again so even if you don't want to change anything in these uh, four options you just need to uh, open everyone and then uh, choose the option and click the done button also okay and then you can see begin installation button here so just click this begin installation and then the installation of fedora will start in a meanwhile you can provide the root password for your system and uh, you can create a new user right so i'm going to uh, just uh, create a root password just click root password from there and then uh, here i'm going to provide a root password which you can remember so i'm going to provide one root, root password and once again i'm going to provide the same password here and then i'm going to click done and now i'm going to provide the user uh, you know uh, attribute which i want to create so just uh, click user creation and in here i'm going to provide a new user name for example code bind and the second option is here i'm going to choose this option which says make this user as an administrator right so i'm going to make this user as administrator and then i'm going to provide the password so once again i'm going to provide the password for the user for example and then i'm going to click done okay so just click done and now you have provided the root password also and we have created a new user also in my case i have provided the same password here and here but it's on you whatever you want right and now you can see the installation is uh, you know going on while we are setting our root password and uh, user uh, you know credentials and now we will wait for some time for the installation to complete it will take some time so i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to continue once uh, installation has been done okay and now i can see that the fedora installation is complete on my virtual machine and i can see this message which says uh, fedora is now successfully installed and ready for you to use go ahead and reboot uh, to start using it right so i'm going to click quit button which is going to quit the installation inst interface and then i'm going to restart it so just go here on the top right hand side and then click this power button and don't click restart yet before restarting what we need to do is we need to go to device choose a cd dvd device and then uncheck this option which says uh, fedora workstation live iso so just uncheck this fedora workstation uh, option and click force unmount and then you can see uh, if it's unchecked then you are ready to uh, you know restart it so make sure that this option is unchecked and then click restart and it's going to uh, you know restart and once the restart is uh, starting you need to go to machines here so just go machine click machine and then click reset okay so click machine and then click reset and then click reset here which is going to uh, you know rest restart your fedora and here you can uh, see it's going to restart and just choose the first option which is automatically chosen after some time if do you don't choose it and then the fedora virtual machine will start okay and now i can see my login username here i'm going to click on the username and now i'm going to provide my password which i have uh, given at the time of installation and i will click sign in which is going to uh, you know log me in and which is going to show me the fedora uh, initial uh, window welcome window i can say 
and now I can see the welcome uh, screen uh, as you can uh, see the default language is English I'm going to leave it as de uh, default and click next and here once again I'm going to leave it as default and click next and once again next and skip okay and then click start using Fedora so in this way you can download and install Fedora on your uh, virtual box virtual machine I hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and